Dubai is a city with a beautiful coastline and developing infrastructure. But these elements are currently disjointed and underutilized for the public. Ghana's vision for Marine Drive introduces a new waterfront promenade that weaves together these various nodes into a cohesive urban core, embracing the country's legacy and preparing for its future in the 21st century. Utilizing the city's best assets, its markets, recreation areas and leisure spaces, the promenade will provide the people of Accra unprecedented access to the city's beachfront and will create a rounded existing monumental and new monumental avenue of public promenade right on the scene. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings you entrepreneurial, business and personal development content to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe that entrepreneurship, rather than global PT, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're not yet subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Construction of Marine Drive project began last year. The Ghana Tourism Authority GTA, has assured that effective construction work on the Marine Drive project will be terminated in 2027. The first thing to get out of the way was the various memorandum of understanding use with the landowner, which has been done. Currently, more than 70% of the land has been cleared. We had a lot of government offices there, we've managed to move them all to the Ghana house and the only thing left is to relocate the Accra Art Center. He explained the $1.2 billion project, which is funded by the World Bank, expected to create over 15,000 jobs upon completion in 2027. Real construction work began in June last year and is currently going on. However. Since the government made its intentions to revive the then concept of increment, government concerns have been raised over the fate of artisans at the Accra Art Center. A market popular for the sale of made in Ghana items, including art and fashion accessories, is also located at the proposed site of this project. The project, which is estimated to cost about $1.2 billion, is a public-private partnership project expected to transform the beachfront stretch from the Osu Christianborg Castle to the Art Center into a vibrant business and commercial enclave that will transform the city's skyline, create jobs, spur tourism growth, and boost the national economy. The project covering an area of over 240 acres is located within the ministerial enclave that serves multiple functions. Given the already congested environment among other militating factors, this report presents issues that planning authorities might want to consider in the sitting of the massive project in order to preserve the functions of the marked area. The Marine Drive Tourism Investment Project is a government initiative aimed at developing sections of the coastline of Ghana's capital city into a state-of-the-art tourism and hospitality enclave. The development will have tourist resorts with facilities such as hotels, shopping malls, casinos, water theme parks, 15-floor office complex, conference and exhibition centers, a playground, and a beach soccer pitch, among other things. It will cover over 240 acres of land, stretching from the Christian Board Castle in Osu through the Independence Square to Baden Powell near the Art Center in downtown Accra. When completed, Marine Drive Ghana is expected to attract more investment in trade and improve tourism in addition to generating revenue and employment, as well as increase foreign exchange earnings. Dr. Ibrahim Mohamed Awal, the Minister Designate for Tourism, Art and Culture, has promised to accelerate the development of the Marine Drive project, which he describes as very important and a game-changer for Ghana. He said when given the nod, 
he would look at the details of the plan and engage the business community on the project. What I would do is to look at the details and the different business persons. I assure the house that I will put in the maximum to energize it and ensure the project is accelerated for the benefits of Ghanaians, he said. Dr. Awal said this when he appeared before the Appointments Committee of Parliament to be vetted on his nomination by President Akufo Addo for the ministerial role. Dr. Awal was pledged to embark on aggressive promotion of both domestic and international tourism for the development of the nation. He said Ghana had some of the best in terms of tourist sites. Adding the people are warm, have very rich art and culture, as well as heritage, and when they come together, they'll be able to enhance domestic tourism. Dr. Awal revealed that 96,000 jobs were created in the last four years through various initiatives under the Ministry of Business Development. Contractors working on the Marine Drive project in Accra Atachi Construction Limited say they will in the next couple of weeks employ some of the squatters who have been evicted from the art center for the ongoing project. Hundreds of structures along the beaches behind the Black Star Square were in 2019 pulled down to pave the way for the Marine Drive project. The project from its construction to the operational stage is expected to employ some 150,000 people, especially those within the catchment area, as well as boost tourism and increase economic growth. President Nana Akufo Addo in 2018 cut sought for the construction of the $1.2 billion Marine Drive Tourism and Investment Project in Accra. The project delayed due to the slow evacuation of some ministries, departments and agencies which had their offices at the project site. The Accra Marine Drive project, which seeks to link also to the Abu Kabi in the Gar East district as the two towns share a common heritage, was part of the Mahama government list of projects for the tourism industry. The Marine Drive Tourism Investment Project is a 241-acre redevelopment scheme of a cross-water front initiated by Ghana's Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture. The brief for the project, the origins of which trace back to the country's independence 60 years ago, called for a scheme that would establish an iconic skyline for Accra and transform the capital city centre into a world-class tourism enclave. The Marine Drive will also provide essential infrastructure to support the country's developing cultural and creative industries. A Ghana Institute of Architects Associates plan introduces a new waterfront promenade that reimagines the coast as a vibrant leisure and recreation space. The promenade will extend across the site, creating a seamless link between the capital city's most celebrated landmarks and unlocking access to the city's beachfront. This new public infrastructure will be punctuated by three civic anchors, each of which celebrates Ghana's rich history. At the heart of the promenade will be a new centerpiece public park honoring the forefathers of Ghanaian independence. Extending from Independence Square down to the waterfront, this park will culminate in a coastal overlook that offers sweeping dramatic vistas across this part of the Gulf of Guinea. Anchoring the promenade on east will be the National Concert Hall, a new cultural hub and public convention center envisioned next to the Increments Monument. Together, they will establish a defining skyline for Ghana's capital and initiate commercial, office, leisure and retail infrastructure aimed at harnessing the tourism sector as a transformative economic force for the benefits of the country and her people. What do you think about the Marine Drive project in Accra? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Share our video with your friends and family. Give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow.